All right, everyone, good morning. This is the 5 a.m. press conference for Hurricane Douglas. Hurricane Douglas continues to be a powerful hurricane which is approaching the main Hawaiian Islands, and we remain concerned about local impacts, uh, which could begin as early as tonight for some areas. So I'll start off with a uh, quick summary of the watches and warnings that are in effect for the main Hawaiian Islands. Uh, for both Hawaii County and Maui County, we have a tropical storm warning, which is in effect, and a hurricane watch. The tropical storm warning means that tropical storm conditions are expected somewhere within the warning area within 36 hours. And a hurricane watch means that hurricane conditions are possible within the watch area, in this case, uh, within the next 36 to 48 hours. We have a hurricane watch, which remains in effect for the island of Oahu, and a tropical storm watch, which remains in effect for Kauai and Niihau. At five o'clock this morning, the center of Hurricane Douglas continues to march toward the islands at about west, it's moving west-northwest at 18 miles per hour, still a pretty good clip. And it's only about 440 miles now east of Hilo, and it's about 635 miles east-southeast of Honolulu. The motion of Douglas is expected to continue, and there's going to be a slight decrease in forward speed today. One thing that concerns us greatly is that we are expecting a turn, a slight turn toward the west tonight through Monday. Exactly where that turn occurs is going to have a big impact on what kind of weather we get here uh, across the state. In any case, Douglas will be near the main Hawaiian Islands late tonight through Sunday night, and folks should be wrapping up preparations uh, today. The maximum sustained winds, Douglas has 105 miles per hour. There are higher gusts, of course. And although we do expect gradual weakening to continue through the weekend, it's, it's, uh, Douglas is still going to be near hurricane strength as it nears the islands. So we need to be prepared for hurricane conditions. Looking at timing, tropical storm conditions are expected across portions of Hawaii County and Maui County beginning late tonight and Sunday. And for those islands, hurricane conditions are possible uh, across those areas starting late tonight, and that will spread up the chain through Sunday night. For surf, we expect warning level surf. It's going to be large, dangerous, life-threatening, and potentially destructive. And it will, uh, they will, it, Douglas will also result in uh, very serious rip current conditions. So anyone getting into the water, uh, it's really not recommended uh, at this point. It's going to be very dangerous. Douglas is moving in a fairly good clip, which will help to reduce the overall rainfall amounts uh, compared to what we've seen in some hurricanes in the past but we're still going to get a burst of heavy rainfall as Douglas comes through on its point of closest approach. And we should see that heavy rainfall begin to affect portions of the state starting late tonight, and that'll continue through Monday. Total rainfall accumulations at this point look like they'll be between five and 10 inches. And although for Hawaii, those amounts don't sound too serious, keep in mind that that rain could fall in a very short amount of time just a few hours, so uh, it could be serious, uh, life-threatening flash flooding uh, where those rains occur. Those rainfall amounts from five to 10 inches are possible from Maui County westward uh, across Oahu to Kauai County, and the highest amounts would be expected in elevated terrain with all that water washing downstream. We could also see landslides from that heavy rain and rapid water levels on small streams. Of course, we do have a flash flood watch, which is in effect. Over the Big Island, they'll get less rainfall there as they're expected to be mostly south of the track, but we still 
could see two to five inches of rainfall over portions of the Big Island, especially the northern half. This is a pretty serious situation. We want folks to take it very seriously. You really need to be wrapping up your preparations at this point. You have about one more day, uh, daytime today, before conditions start deteriorating ahead of Douglas's arrival. We also want folks to consider to not focus on the exact track. Uh, we know, we always say that. Um, we know that as Douglas approaches, there are going to be little wiggles and wobbles uh, off the forecast track that we cannot anticipate. And those little wiggles and wobbles can make a very uh, serious difference in what kind of weather you get. So we remain really concerned about the main Hawaiian islands. Uh, and I would say, especially at this point, uh, for the northern main islands uh, where they are expected to be closest to Douglas's forecast track. Uh, but really everyone needs to be paying attention to this uh, potentially dangerous hurricane. I think that's about all I have in terms of the briefing. Uh, I think we can see if there are any questions at this point. Uh, good morning, Bob. Um, we do have two questions in the window. Um, and I'll go ahead with the first one. Thanks, Ash. Could you take a moment to describe how the forecast cone reflects where the center of the storm could be? And talk about if impacts could be felt beyond the extent of the cone. That's a really great point. I, I, I appreciate uh, that question very much. Um, we want to stress, and in fact, if you look, if you look at the cone graphic on our website, we say in big uh, white letters with a black background, hurricane or dangerous conditions can occur outside of the cone. A hurricane is not a point, it's an area, uh, and so it encompasses a fairly large uh, area that has strong winds, heavy rain, and impactful surf and surge. So that's, that's good to note that even if the hurricane doesn't make direct landfall on your island, uh, it, does, it does not mean that you're not going to see really serious and dangerous impacts, um, especially during the time of closest approach. The, the margin for error here is razor thin and, and all islands from the northern portion of the big island uh, across to Kauai and Niihau, everybody's well within the cone. So everybody really needs to be preparing for the possibility of direct impacts at this point. Uh, I, I would not want to rule out anyone uh, from the Big Island all the way up to Kauai and Niihau. And that's partly because of the angle that Douglas is uh, taking as it approaches the islands, it's moving roughly parallel to the islands. So pretty much anybody has a risk for some pretty serious impacts. The risk is higher as you go farther north, uh, but, but uh, everyone is in, in play still right now. Hopefully that answers your question. If not, uh, go ahead and issue a follow-up. Okay, Bob, There's uh, thanks for that answer. There's sure. one, a second question. There's still no reference to storm surge in the latest advisory package. No storm surge watches or warnings up. Is storm surge not expected due to the, due to the trajectory of Douglas? Can you talk about we that? are going to probably see some storm surge. Of course, that'll be dependent on the exact track. Surge in the main Hawaiian islands because of our bathymetry is not as uh, big of a concern by itself as it is when you consider wave action on top of that, which will be a much larger component of water inundation. But that said, uh, we have taken a look at some of the models uh, and that, that show uh, two to four feet possibly of storm surge coming in to some places. Most areas would see less than that, but uh, and again, it depends on the exact track of Douglas. I do want to note that the Central Pacific Hurricane Center in Hawaii, because we do not have the same modeling, nor do we have the same bathymetry as uh, the Gulf of Mexico or East Coast, that we are not issuing storm surge watches and warnings with this event. We will include that uh, in our hazard section of the TCP when we have more information, we'll get that out there. Um, but we do not uh, currently do storm surge watches and warnings. Um, we will include that uh, with information about the surf. 
since that'll be a much larger thing. But that said, you make a really good point that a hurricane is a triple threat. Um, you have the wind to worry about, you have the rainfall to worry about, and you have to worry about water inundation from the ocean. So this is a, a big concern, especially with the angle of approach that Douglas is making. Folks on the north and windward sides of the islands need to pay attention and may see water surging uh, as Douglas gets close. Bob, we picked up a couple, a few more, few more questions. Um, first, uh, Bob, can you go ahead and just repeat your net, your full name, and state your current position title here at the office? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I launched right into this. Uh, my name is Robert Ballard. I am the Science and Operations Officer here at the Central Pacific Hurricane Center. Um, and we've picked up one more question. Uh, and interestingly enough, Bob, it's something that you and I have talked about as recently as last evening. Um, how's the wind shear now compared to the wind shear we've had during the busy hurricane season of a couple years ago? Well, it's it it's uh, it's not particularly strong at this point. Um, we, we've been concerned all along about the wind shear that was over the islands backing off as Douglas gets closer, and it does appear that that's what's happening. Um, Douglas is traversing somewhat cooler water right now, and it will encounter somewhat stronger shear as it gets closer to the islands, but I don't think in any way that that's going to be enough to reduce Douglas's uh, impacts um, to the point where it's not a concern for the islands. Um, I think it's still going to be a pretty serious storm for Hawaii uh, by the time it gets here um, Saturday night into Sunday. Okay, Bob, um, let me just roll down through here and just make sure we did not miss any questions. Sure thing. Bob, I think we have covered all the questions that have come into the question blocks. Um, there's nothing else in chat either. And I don't see anything showing up in, in email. Let me go back and look at that one more time. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in email. I'm going to make one more point before we sign off, and that'll give you guys a chance to think of any more questions. Uh, I do want to focus on timing since Douglas is moving up the chain to talk about when you need to have your preparations done by. We've been hitting this for a while. I just want to make sure that everyone's aware of this, that really by tonight, today, today is your last day on the big island to get prepared. By tonight, you really need to have things wrapped up and ready to hunker down because the weather's going to start going downhill. That timing is a little bit later for Maui County and Oahu, but I would say, you know, by mon by Sunday morning, you need to be wrapping things up uh, in Maui County, and maybe by midday on Sunday on Oahu, uh, conditions are going to start going downhill, and you need to have things uh, pretty much secured bring in loose objects, secure what you can't. Um, that's that's the time to get your preparations finished. And then on Kauai and Niihau, uh, it looks like by Sunday night. Uh, so you'll have the day on Sunday on Kauai and Niihau to prepare. And then after that, things go downhill Sunday night. Douglas is, again, forecast to move fairly quickly, uh, continue moving fairly quickly, although it will slow down some. And we are concerned uh, about wobbles in the track, especially as it gets close to the islands. Uh, any little wobble could bring much worse conditions over uh, Maui County, Oahu, and uh, uh, as well as Kauai and Niihau. And again, portions of the Big Island not completely out of the woods either. So uh, hopefully that covers everything. I don't know if uh, there's any more questions. We're uh, getting short on time. Bob, I have uh, picked up no further questions in the uh, in the questions block. I've seen nothing in chat, and uh, we don't have anything that's been added in email to the operations account while we've been on the air. Okay, thank you very much to my uh, cohort, uh, Ash Evans, for helping us out this morning. And I want to thank uh, all of our media partners, 
uh, for continuing to help us get the word out about this potentially dangerous and important storm. Uh, stay tuned, we'll have more information for you uh, as we go through the day today.